There are a lot of people around Vancouver doing interesting things, from kayaking clubs to running groups. But have you ever heard of the Mushroom Club? Yes, this very diverse crowd meets to gather and forage for, you guessed it, mushrooms. Take a look. Well, we've got quite a diverse um, membership, actually. It's, it's actually one of the more colorful groups uh, to be found. I've been picking mushrooms since I was knee high. Well, I started picking up mushrooms when I was three years old, and now I'm almost 70. I have a question about those things. Yeah. It is a natural history group that is focused on studying just about all the interesting aspects of fungi. Some of these are labeled on the side, I think. Well, that one's not. The one mushroom I got really excited about was the hirsica mushroom. It's an icicle mushroom. And the one that we found was five pounds, and it was a huge thing. And it's it's like looking at an icicle, and it's completely white. There's the the, the mystery and the, and, the, and the aura that surrounds these, these organisms and the fascination with them, which is difficult to put in words. This one is actually, the, I guess it's the Aptheus of the Settle Shape. The Mycological Society meets on a regular basis on the first Tuesday of every month. People will bring samples and will have presentations concerning fungi. We have someone in mind to give a talk, but we can't get them, so... Kent Brothers has uh, managed to get his slimy little hands on the slime mold film. <laughs> so, that should be fun. Taking that under advisement, I haven't viewed them yet, so I'm not entirely sure whether they're appropriate. <laughs> they may not be rated for this audience. <laughs> we have an annual mushroom show in Vancouver, which has been going for as long as the club since the early uh, 1970s. We also organized a great number of forays out into the woods to go look and learn about the fungi. Okay, yeah, May. We're going to have one in May. We're going to Manning in May once. We don't know exactly. We share uh, a lot of information, not where the mushroom uh, really grow, but everything else we share. We're not supposed to tell you where we found the mushroom exactly, because that's, that's the hunter's secret. Uh, chanterelle is probably the first one I, I found in the wild and was confident enough to eat. We have a lot of people that want to eat them, which is quite different from, say, birding groups or wildflower groups, of course. I just love the flavor of it, the smell of it, the texture. I like to eat them. <laughs> the eating is probably the most common reason people are interested in fungi. I do just nibble them just to see what the taste is and knowing which ones are poisonous. <laughs> Why do I like to come to the Mycological Society? I can combine a nature walk with finding a meal that some people pay oodles of money for. My favorite mushroom is the chanterelle. The chanterelle. Chanterelle is my favorite. My favorite mushroom is the pine mushroom. Icicle mushroom. Favorite mushroom, I would say it's the shaggy man. It's like a contagious thing. You just want to know more about it. And the, the Mycological Society, actually, even though you're completely brand new to it, they make it as simple as possible. I can say, I know that one, that one I can eat, and that one I can't. And then that's what makes me happy. 